so I'm here with uh, Simon Boothlucking from Claremont. Um, Simon, you were telling us a bit about the kind of strategy and the big picture behind data visualisation. Can you tell us about some of the, the kind of the big trends and the, some of the drivers for data visualisation? Yeah, so I um, talked about why data visualisation is, uh, is important right now. Um, so talked about the technology factors, the big disruption that's happened in uh, the price of just storing and processing data. Uh, and that there's now a lot more data around and available. And the tools have really uh, become democratised because of that, uh, that shift in technology. So anyone uh, can get access to the tools that they need. Uh, talked about the political situation, uh, big push uh, from government in the UK and around the world to open their data up. Uh, and then things like WikiLeaks and the expenses scandal uh, and how data is just being released whether you like it or not. Um, and really how that is pushing uh, an expectation of greater transparency for all kinds of organisations and, and institutions. Uh, then just looked at the, the, the world around us and how it's much more complex um, and we need data visualisation to understand big complex data sets to sort of understand some of the challenges that we've got uh, and, and really how we're hardwired in our brains to, uh, to, to process visual information much more than say written information. Uh, and we seek patterns, you know, so I got a little bit of, yeah, evolutionary uh, about it all. Um, then lastly, because we, we had obviously a room full of communications people, so I wanted to sort of talk about how data visualisation is a good communications uh, tool. Um, so I talked about how uh, it, it, it can combine both the big picture and, and then down to the individual human story, which I think is a, a really important balancing act to pull off, uh, so you can drill down into uh, data. The, the, the human story to it, uh, and also how data can uh, hit both the rational and the emotional sides uh, that we need to convince, particularly if we want to bring about behaviour change or change of view on things. Uh, and, and data can uh, can do that. It's not just dry numbers, but particularly with the Hans Rosling stuff, I think you really you feel it in your gut. Uh, you see a, a situation, you can process what that actually means in terms of the, the human story and why you need to act on that. And uh, if, if you were to give us um, your, uh, your sort of big takeaway from today, what, from the speakers we heard, so uh, Simon Rogers from the Guardian Data Blog and Vicky Ames from the Alzheimer's Society, what, what are the kind of things that make a good visualisation and that people who are interested in this field really ought to be doing next? Um, I think tie it back to your story, so get that clear straight off the bat and that's kind of classic PR stuff just have a message have a clear story but and be quite ruthless in simplifying down to that um, data visualization is best communicates a simple message uh, but in a very stark and clear way um, and, and the other thing um, start digging around in your data um, start cleaning it up start finding out where it is and what format it's in and and uh, Cleanse it, cleanse that data, get it ready for action.